Welcome everyone to Amalgamation Nation's next unboxing here. We obviously have the PS5 as you can tell. This is the 825 gigabyte physical edition model. Uh, so keep that in mind when we're unboxing it. This will be $500 at your local store. There's a $400 digital only model. And when I pull this out, you'll kind of look at this and you'll say, oh wow, the digital is kind of the way it was meant to look. It's going to look a little bit slimmer. This is going to be a little bit fatter because of the disc tray slot there. So do keep that in mind. It's going to be a 4K and an 8K console just like the Xbox Series X. It has those tags that you can see right up here. Let's get to the unboxing part. And this is a big box. Uh-oh. Let's see how this goes. Okay, there we go. All right, that nice PlayStation logo right there. And this just came out here today, so both next-gen consoles launched, the Xbox Series X here on Tuesday, and then obviously here this PlayStation 5 here today. All right, on top we have a little power cord here, and let's see what we forgot. We just got the user guide and the safety guide, so not that important. And then, oh, look, we have the DualSense controller with the haptic feedback, which everyone's kind of been ranting and raving about. It's got little, it's gonna have tiny motors there in the controller in there. They're more precise than the ones that are offered in the Xbox controller. They're supposed to be very kind of next gen, like you can say, but it's a, it's a nice controller, looks more like the Xbox one's a little bit fatter, uh, you know, but still has the sticks at the bottom and still has a little touchpad that you can click in right there. So that's the controller. I do like the two-tone of that. Let's put that in front and try to take this bad boy out. Son of a nutcracker. All right, there's your HDMI 2.1 cord, just like we said in the Xbox Series X unboxing video. Make sure you get a 2.1 compatible, HDMI 2.1 compatible TV if you are looking for a TV for next gen to take full advantage of the 4K, 120, and even 8K 30 frames a second going forward. So keep that in mind when if you are looking to buy a new TV this Black Friday season for your next gen console purchase. All right, what else do we have in here? Okay, just a little USB dual charge cord that's gonna charge up your controller there for the internal battery. That is the one difference from the DualSense to the, uh, the Xbox controller is the DualSense has an internal battery, much like your phone, so the amount that you charge up, you can't really take it out. Uh, the Xbox, you can have a, a plain charge kit, you can have double A's, you can do whatever, you have a little, little slight more flexibility. This looks like the stand here that comes with the with the PS5 console that I'm probably going to have to attach, and so that will be fun here. We'll see how much I screw that up. Put that off this side. All right, finally, to what we are all here for. Here we go. And you'll actually kind of notice that all the packaging here for the PS5 was done in white and the Xbox was done in black, so they're kind of going opposite of that. Uh, and you have already, maybe you've seen that the PS5 has a two-tone console. It has white and black. Uh, so here we go. This bad boy right here. Try to move some of this stuff in front off to the side here. All right, so there you go. And you can see that disc tray here on this left-hand side. You can kind of see how it almost looked like it was gonna be kind of more, a little concave-ish, almost like the Xbox 360 there. But you kind of see it's almost more fat on this side because of that disc tray. I think it was really meant to be a digital-only console, uh, but they did offer this model here. I do like, do like the two-tone look of this uh, overall. I just don't like the design of the console. It, it just looks too weird for me. And then you got the little PlayStation logo right there. And so it'll eventually, once we attach that base, it'll lay down like that. But it'll normally stand like this. And then here on the back, you're gonna have the, you're gonna have the USB ports and the ethernet and everything like that. And there's your power. There's the HDMI, ethernet, the two USBs. So yeah, that's kind of, that's what it looks like. You do have the, I forgot, the USB slot on the front there. 
All right, let's try to attach that base over here real quick. Hopefully it's easy. If not, you'll know. <laughs> All right, let's just try to slide this on. That can't be right. You know what? We might not do this part live. I'm gonna call this part off. Yeah, we're not gonna do that live. But here's the unboxing. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to follow us on YouTube here. Subscribe, like, comment below. Follow us on all your podcast apps, iTunes, Spotify, Bullhorn or Blowhorn, whatever it is. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Search for Amalgamation Nation or AM Nation Pod. Thanks for tuning in. Stay breezy.